today guys this building right here we're gonna visit and it's an airport in Riga the old Riga airport that was actually built in 1954 just one year after Stalin's death now here's what's interesting just like in a lot of things in the Soviet Union things were copied and pasted you'd create something good and then you just do it again and again and again and there were many of these built all over the Soviet Union but I think this happens to be the only one that's still in its original state not restored and I've been wanting to visit this for a while and you know what two weeks ago I managed to go in when there was nobody there but today they're having an art exhibition it's actually in a place called uh, hang on a sec guys my Latvian's escaping me but it's called Spilva Spilva Airport in Riga and it functioned from 1954 as you see it now I mean it's been an airstrip for a while before that but as you see it now, as this airport, it functioned from 1954 all the way through to 1975. Quick secret, that's the year I was born. So it stopped working about 47 years ago, was actually built 68 years ago. And the cool thing is that you can see that it was built in that era. The detail up there, all the Soviet symbols that are scattered all over the place are just really unique an era gone by that i grew up in that i remember very well all right i was on the other side but still fascinated me and yes yeah, so i'm kind of afraid with the way things are going right now things like this soon the building might still be there but are they going to deface it who knows but we're lucky it's still here now we can visit it today so let's go and take a look inside and like i said it's the only one I'm not going to guarantee that, but I've heard it's the only one that's still in its original state that hasn't been restored, remodeled, and uh, I think you're going to like this. Well, guys, the last time I was here, this place was completely bare. I mean, there was no one here. They let me in, and I want to share this place with you. I've wanted to see this place for a long, long time. And look, we are actually in a Soviet airport built in 1954, 1954 as I said, and it's just amazing. Look at this ceiling guys, look at that chandelier. It's simply fascinating, these columns here are made of solid marble. It's an amazing thing to be here actually. This is true history. Look, right here you've got a section that says Bagajnaya or Bagaja in, in Latvia. And once upon a time, I'm assuming that this is where people would have dropped their luggage before boarding a flight. And look at that mural up there. It's a fantastic mural with the backdrop. I'll see if I can get a close up with the backdrop of the old town of Riga and all the women dressed in traditional Latvian clothing apparently except for one the one in green that's wearing traditional Russian clothing and uh, yeah it's a fascinating thing to be here let's look around guys because I'm sure we're gonna find a lot of interesting little bits and pieces so first things first we're going up to the floor it's only a two-story building, so there's only two floors. But they're having art exhibitions right now, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, they've got some really cool work of art here. We'll look at them in just a second, but I want to focus on the building itself. Look at these columns. And if you look up the top there, you'll notice those details like sickle and hammer and then there you've got the famous star and apparently the, even the paint on the ceiling is all original now the area I'm in right now once upon a time would have been the VIP area and it looks like it might still be the place today because they're pouring champagne over there and this would have been where the VIPs 
would have waited for their flight. Now supposedly back in those days, and remember this airport was operational between 1954 to 1975 I think, for international flights. And this is where the VIPs would have waited. Now supposedly in the Soviet Union there was no class system, there were no VIPs, but we all know there were. You know, people like politicians, actors, singers. And the reason why it was here is because just through here, once upon a time, would have been the restaurant. So keep them near the food. Oh, look at this. That's a cool painting. I like that. There's some really interesting works of art here. So we're entering what once would have been the food hall or the food court or I can imagine it probably was more like a cafeteria style but, uh, but yeah it's really got this cool vibe in here. If you ever do come to Riga unfortunately this place is usually close to the public but to see the building on the outside you can always pop by and if you want to see really a, a, an impressive airport from the 1950s with that romantic feel to it you know definitely do so I mean the art exhibition itself is fantastic without the airport this is just an added bonus I mean, some of these artists works are just phenomenal and I want to point out let's say if you take a look at the murals up there which I'll try and get a close-up as well that is Yurmala which is Yura actually in, in Latvia means sea and Yurmala actually means beach I think and uh, it's the coastal region of Riga and on the opposite side there there's another mural which I mean you can imagine you know close to how long ago would, they, would this have been opened like 60, 68 years ago they would have opened this airport as we see it today and I mean this would have been impressive you know anywhere but especially looking at all these little details over here there's a mural of Sigulda now if you remember recently we uh, flew to Tsessis and on the way we flew over Sigulda and I made a video about going to Sigulda with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of steps and you know uh, it, it was a super adventure but uh, but yeah this is really something guys let's go and look at some of the artwork and, and see who we can see. hello how are you are you an art artist yeah. where is your work Literary, huh? What's your name? Uh, Larissa. Larissa. Evina. Evina. Where are you from? Uh, I. Вам легче на русском? На русском, да. Можно. Я родилась в Берлине, а потом всю жизнь была стала рижанкой. Понятно. А в той чо? Не что бы. No. No. Только на русском. Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Alles gut, ja? Покажите мне вообще. So, Larissa here is uh, the artist creating this stuff. And Butterflies. Butterflies, yeah. And you like to use mirrors, huh? You like yeah. the reflection, yeah. the shiny, the bright. Woman look only you. Oh, oh. beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. And how was it today? Good, good business yourself? Uh, yeah. You mean fine? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Larissa, nice to meet you. So she's had a successful, successful uh, fair. It's pretty good. Oh, this is nice. Look at this work. Some really nice, nice pieces of art here. Hello. How are you? Are you the artist? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Where are you from? Riga. Oh, really? And uh, you? I'm from England. Yeah, from England. Really nice piece of work. A lot of, uh, a lot of detail. A lot of, uh, yeah. of very textured. Huh? 
A lot of gold. She likes reflection, you like gold. Yeah. Everybody's got their style. I thought maybe with so much gold, maybe you're from Morocco or something. Morocco, they really love gold, you know. With a big and uh, very small sun. Yeah, with a no sun. Like ah, so this is yeah, the sun in your living room. Yeah. Put the yeah. sun in your living room. Yeah, yeah. Great. Your name is? Uh, Julia. Yeah. Julia Pusijova. 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 Very nice. I'm Justin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'll keep looking. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting to see how, you know, you can always identify certain elements in artists that seem to come again and again. Like this is for sure blue. This person's favorite color must be blue. Um, and their reasons for incorporating certain elements into their work of art. Look at this pebble work. That is super cool. Found that impressive. A load of minute little details. This is also made out of pebbles. I'm not gonna touch, but I absolutely love this work. What a treat, double bonus. Beautiful building and some beautiful art on the inside as well. I'm just taking in the fact that I'm here right now. I mean, when you think all these doors, all this wood, it's all original. Nothing's been touched. See, now this is what it would have looked like back in the day. This is in uh, 1959. It was a new airport then. It was only a few years old. It's interesting when you read how, how the artist actually names the painting like for instance this one is take a deep breath i don't know, i think i would name a painting take a deep breath that i would feel i was kind of like falling in water or something so oh this is 1954 guys this is what it looked like in 1954 if you can see it hasn't changed at all that's amazing wow this is interesting isn't it They look like they're on something. Really cool. So vivid. This is uh, actually, sorry. This is actually the exhibition of the guy who's hosting this um, this uh, event, which I met in the previous video, which will be part of this video. I don't know if I already did it or will be doing it. And look, there's Donke. I wonder if Shrek was the uh, inspiration there. Let's keep going and looking at the artworks. Then I'll go back and look at the building from the outside because that's what... Oh, look, hang on a sec. <laughs> so, going up now to the next floor to see the exhibitors. I thought there'd be food or something here. They didn't have any breakfast thinking I'd grab a bite here and uh, hmm, interesting see I never used to like this kind of art but it's grown on me now and if the colors really appeal to me then I can really enjoy something like that because I, I can stare at it and often discover like new elements um, yeah to me it was a once upon a time I'm like really but now it's really grown on me there's a really big variety of different exhibitors here different styles don't know if this will be allowed but let's have a look i'll ask my editor if he needs to blur any of it out but this is uh this is pretty intense isn't it now i wonder if this is created out of the mind or is this like set up staged and then the artist actually paints it. Norbert Flobberger is the one responsible for this and in almost all his uh, paintings he's got a bottle of Jack Daniels. I'm sure he's one of their best clients. Photo art. Now this I like. This is interesting. 
especially since I started YouTube, I'm more and more into photography because you're always kind of framing things when you're looking at, uh, at the camera, the video. And ever since, I like to just pull out my camera and, and frame things up. And some of them are a bit explicit, so I'm not going to show them too much detail. Oh, there is a place to grab a bite and maybe get a drink. But I think just like in the entrance, we're going to have the same problem, cash only. So let's take a look. I don't know, they take cards. I'm in business. Hi, are you one of the artists? Which one is yours? Because you also artist? You too? Oh, you're all artists. It's like the artist break right now. You're all taking a break, huh? We'll say hi to YouTube. So you're going to show me your paintings in a minute? Yes. yes. Cool. Yeah, mine are just right there. Those ones? The pebbles? The pebbles on black stands. I love the lion one. Is that yours? Yeah. That is amazing. And also the Thanks. one that spirals around with the, the... that is. All of them are mine. How long does it take to make one of those? Well, uh, the lion, for example, about a month in working hours. One so month? Every, every day, five hours a day. So about 150 months. hours. For two, to diverse all of this, I just made the prints as well. Prince yeah, I saw the prints, but it's not the same thing. Of course. And yeah, from my experience, different. if you want to sell it faster, add another zero. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Usually that works. <laughs> that, w that works. Okay. Add another zero. Yes. If you think it's worth 40, put 40. Four, put 40. Okay. All right, I'm just going to get me a cocktail now because I'm about at that point. But then I want to see your works too, okay. so very nice, I already recorded yours, they look great. Good morning. Can I get a um, Bombay Sapphire with tonic? Is there tonic in there? Yeah. You sure? Oh, it's strong. Can I have a bit more tonic? There's no gas in this tonic, this tonic is dead. Ah, uh, okay. This one is good. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Here you go, ladies. Enjoy. Oh, and I'm so <laughs> See that you can always steal an artist's heart with a bit of chocolate, right? Yeah. I'll look for you guys afterwards in the stands. See you later. Uh, that was a terrible gin tonic after yesterday's ones. By the way, yesterday was Riga's birthday. So if you saw that video, you know that I fell upon my absolute favorite gin tonic in Riga uh, simply because of the way it was made. And I think I found my absolute worst one now because he gave me flat tonic. Guys, I've just seen something that wasn't here the last time I was here and that's a collection of vintage Soviet cars and you know how much I like my cars especially vintage ones and look at these they're absolutely so that's uh, made by the factory gas which would have been a Volga and they're in such good nick look at this one same thing this one's even got a VS number plate, if you see that, which actually means that 90-something percent of all the parts are original. And look, there's Joy's baby brother with a larder. I think that's a 2106. In very good, Nick. So I'm going to have my gin tonic and admire these for a few minutes. So guys, this Volga is in absolute immaculate nick. I mean, once upon a time, this would have been the car to have, especially here. I mean, this is like the president's car. And to have the VS, if you notice on the inside, I don't know if the reflection's coming through, but even the radio is original. And it's immaculate. And I think they rent these out. What a treat. I get to see the airport, some beautiful art, and some fantastic cars. 
Are these your cars? Yes. 2106? Uh, this one. It's a 2103. Uh, 03. Uh, with original engine, uh, which comes with um, 413, uh, 03. It's uh, uh, 1.5 liter. Oh, okay. And uh, actually, it's our family car from 1978. Really? You've owned yeah. it since 1978? Uh, my, gran my grandfather did. Ah, that's my so father? Cool. And now, now it's now mine. Now it's yours. It's waiting for restoration, but uh, mechanically it's, uh, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect uh, uh, engine is so cold and uh, all the suspension brakes. Just I just bought a 1989 mm -hmm. uh, 2106 mm -hmm. um, in horrible Soviet green. Oh, okay. No. okay. I loved it. I loved it. I saw there were some guys driving it and I was like, well, how much do you want for the car? I'm buying it. <laughs> but I need to kind of fix it up a little bit. But do you, uh, do you know any good guys that fix uh, up uh, cars? Actually, yes. There are some, some guys in Riga who can do that. I need the interior then up. Uh, uh, in Yelgava, there is a big museum of uh, Soviet cars. Oh, really? Yes. Have you been there or no? Haven't yet, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go, guys. <laughs> yes, and uh, uh, actually, the owner uh, can uh, do magic. Can do magic, and, really? and he can uh, maybe consult you on restoration because he, he uh, every every car uh, there is restored by him. And, wow! Uh, about, about forty cars. I believe. Yeah. There's about forty cars. About forty cars. Definitely, and these Volgas are yours yeah, as well. Vol Volga, no, no, no. no, no. no. Friends, yes. and, uh, it's a uh, it's really a nice uh, intro. For us, it's like time machine to to the childhood. Because yeah. this is this exact uh, exact car that I learned to drive when I was about uh, four or five years old, and uh, my father. My I know father. exactly what you mean because I I mean I grew up in England, mm -hmm. but. Those cars have a smell inside them, yes. don't they? Yes. Yes. You sit in them, and that smell just takes you back in time. And you, and you, you, uh, you uh, jump into you just dive, jump in, dive. Yeah, just, just that dive in, in your. Yeah, it's like know. a trip down memory lane. Yes, you feel yes. nostalgic. Yeah, uh, you, you turn up the same music you used to. What music listen. do you like to listen to uh, in the car? Some. Uh, uh, some how do you say? Uh, so, so, so a classic and uh, some. Music that was recorded in Latvia. Uh, yes, uh, because usually they made a recording together with orchestra. Yes, and it's uh, the voices were deep and professional. Amazing. So, yeah, amazing. Some of them really great. So, what is this airfield Adagi? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's our it's next passion. <laughs> you fly? Yes. yes. Okay, I, I flew to Tsessis three weeks ago from here. Yeah. We took mm -hmm. off from here, mm -hmm. yeah. went for lunch to Tsessis, mm -hmm. and then flew back because there's a nice airstrip over there as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and you know. <laughs> uh, Adige is um, it's a former airfield for uh, agriculture, for agriculture, uh, for agriculture mm. aviation, and now it's uh, working with two flight schools. Yeah. Oh, they have a flight school there? Yes. Because I, I don't have a, my, my license yet, but I, I was inquiring here mm -hmm. about, but I'll check out in, in uh, Adagio well, we as well. Ha we, we have school for... Uh, and and for PPL. Uh, and oh, for you, PPL. you guys teach? Oh, or? No, no, no. no. We're, we're actually, we're, we're students there, and uh, we have a passion for ultralight on the light spot aircraft. Uh, okay. Cessna? Uh, not Cessna, much lighter, but uh, more. There's more freedom in this small aircraft because you can do some aerobatics even. Oh, you like to do the aerobatics? Uh, huh? Actually, uh, with, the, like, with the Baltic bees. Huh? Uh, our, our instructor is from, from Baltic bees. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, wow. and, uh, but to, what we are really aiming for is uh, for, for travel. To, yeah. to visit around all Europe, the, around yes. Europe to visit all the small airfields. Uh, so you own this airfield or what? No, 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 no. You're just wearing the T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, we are from from club. From the club. From, from the oh, there's club. a club there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. we have a club. Oh. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we, we had um, a big, big uh, event uh, show. Air show, yeah. Big air show. It was oh, like nice. anniversary for the for the airfield 50 years for the club. And next year it's going to be 50 for the um, for the airstrip there. For the, for oh the really? Airfield. Is there going to be a celebration? Yeah. Oh, come over then. Uh, yes, yes. I live in Riga now, so it's not that far. Yeah, yeah. 
there's a nice atmosphere there, so that's why we enjoy it because uh, it's very, everybody very, with the same passion. Everybody yeah, everybody is welcoming and, uh, and yeah, people share stories from their trips, from their travels. From so that's the... what we've had uh, at this event. Wow, that's cool. All those planes were there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that really looks. Oh, look at that runway. That looks normal. Yeah, yeah. It's better right. than the one uh, here. No, no, no. no. Uh, it's four hundred, uh, uh, but it's in better condition. It's, it's much Way shorter. Yes. And some historic planes. This one, Bilanka. The Bilanka uh, from Lithuania. Wow. And historically, uh, this plane uh, did uh, around the world trip, uh, but they crashed on the way back. Uh, did oh, make yeah. something like 200 kilometers. Oh, it was 200 kilometers short. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and they are national heroes in Lithuania. Uh, guys. This is our event, and it, it, it was amazing with all the. Uh, yeah, that does look amazing. <laughs> Wow! Wow, a lot of people. A lot of yeah. people. Yeah. About yeah. eight, eight thousand. Wow, that was a, that's a big hobby in yeah. uh, Darjeeling, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, guys, it was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> Let's not be rude here. But I can't put the camera down. <laughs> yeah. Your name is Sergey. Sergey, I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. Nice yeah, to meet you. Uh, so, we... oh, someone wants to take a ride in your car. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe you'll sell it. <laughs> no, no, no way. No, no. <laughs> I, I won't trade it for it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's sentimental, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yes. Sentimental love of this. Excellent. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Ah, guys with the same passion as me, retro cars and flying. So, back upstairs, I gifted a Raffaello to this lovely young lady. What's your name again? Sophia. Sophia. And this is her work. And I must say, it's really pleasant to look at. Very nice colors. And uh, you've been painting long? How long have you been an artist? All your life? Since you were a kid, drawing yeah, with crayons, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And a pen in a zoo. Uh, when my mother told me to draw an elephant, and I still have these my paintings. Oh, really? Yeah, it was so you just have it in you, it's your passion in life, huh? Yeah. That's so nice to find people who are passionate about something yeah. and they have the courage to live that passion, right? Yeah. So I see it's Sophia, what's your last name? Fomkina. Sophia Fomkina. 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 Yeah. Very nice. Here's the QR with a website. You have a QR with a website. Why don't you, I'll take notes. It's Sophia Fomkina. Dot com. But I'll put it in the description below, guys, so any of you who want to see her wonderful work from this wonderful upcoming artist, then by all means, I really like And the frames are really good. You, you chose this frame? Yeah, I think it's a wooden frame. It's quite heavy. I can see that. Yeah. Really cool. Well, Sophia, I hope you're having a fantastic exhibition. And uh, good luck. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Anyway, she was cool. Now, there was someone else that I needed to see her work. There were two. Where are the two other ladies that I uh, met upstairs? The one lady is With right the pebbles, here, yeah. and the other is upstairs. Let's visit this other lady's exhibition. Why, hello, hello, hello. Say hi to everybody. No, no, no. Ah, hi, everybody. We are here. That's why I've come here. Yeah? To come and look at your work. Okay. Will you show me around? Yeah. What lovely flowers. Hi, how are you? Hi. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie. Also yes. an artist? No. I'm just a friend. Just a friend, huh? Yes. Very nice. I'm going to take your friend away for two minutes yes. just to look at some of her works. Thank you. Wow, this is cool. So it's a big, big variety. You do kids yes. stuff? And you do... Yes. Oh, yes. this I really I like I like to play the guitar. So this is really cool. And yeah. the color brown is my favorite. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's a guitar and a, and a saxophone. Yeah. And this is a, a musician and suitcase like the. Cool. And this yeah. is an old suitcase from what? Soviet times. Yeah. Soviet times. Guys, I'm it's sold here. I love the Soviet era memorabilia. But it's new, and you 
Oh, guys, that's like brass back in you. Yeah. Wow. I paint it, but it's... Uh, this is so cool. Yeah. So it's musician and uh, the banking, uh, like... Uh, yeah. yeah. How cool is that, guys? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. What was your name again? Lena. 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 And you're local. You're from Latvia. Yes, yeah? I'm local. Guys, all the artists that I'm going to be speaking to, as a courtesy for them to taking their time, I'm going to link in the description below all their information. And uh, yeah, you can visit this fantastic art. It's really cool and, and really a variety texture. of styles as well. It's texture, isn't it? My style. This one's re I, re I really like this one. Yeah. You know, about 10 years ago, I would have looked at that and said, what is it? Yeah. But this style has grown on me where you can just sit and kind of like disappear into the picture and you notice little details. And, and for me, when I see something like this, it's really the colors that, that, that do it for me. If it's pleasant colors, I can... So what were you feeling when you were doing this one? No. Wow. Lena, congratulations. I hope Thank you're having you a successful uh, yeah. you know, fair. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. some really interesting yeah. artworks yeah. here. So he's made a, a, a little suitcase here that says, all you need is inside. And then you open it, and a tribute to the Beatles, all you need is love. That is fantastic. Really like that piece, actually. And this guy's got a Soviet suitcase. It must be a theme right now to get Soviet suitcases and turn them into work of art. But this is really fabulous. Yeah, this is my This is your The show must go on. It's Это ваше ваше Ну, конечно, есть позитивная, есть более негативная. Вы думаете, что иногда бывает, что люди, которые сначала они очень позитивные, может быть, что внутри, и в конце концов они не так сильно. Да, да, да. Интересно. Да, спасибо. А как вас зовут? Татьяна Гричня. Татьяна Гричня. I'm just going to record her details, and then, obviously, lovely young artist, you'll be able to find it in the description below. Все. Татьяна, спасибо да, большое. Спасибо вам. Очень приятно очень, было. Очень интересно, да. Спасибо. И мне очень понравилась да. ваша работа. Спасибо за добрые слова. Все. До свидания. Спасибо. Well, guys, I tell you, nice, nice breeze, huh? Yeah. It's lovely. Lovely breeze. This is the guy with the super de duper camera. Oh, it's really interesting. Laker. Smells like history, huh? History. <laughs> history. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guy. Anyways, uh, what a fantastic treat. Not only did I come and visit a building I've been wanting to visit for a very, very long time, ended up having a, a wonderful art exhibition, great people, and uh, here's the fellow that sold me my car. Good old buddy, how are you? You doing good? Yes. Opa. Where is your uh, green ladder? My green ladder is in storage, like in the garage right now. Uh -huh. Are you right? Are you this? selling a brown one now? Like you choose all the ugliest colors, yes? Misha, <laughs> 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 this, this is your one? 
Yes, yes. Yeah. This is my friend. We have a meet here. Yeah, your friend I met already from, from Adagio, yeah? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, the Volga is your friend. Yes, Volga and Zhuguli are two. Ah, can I see? Yes, sure. How much you want for this one? Come on, you're trading all the cars. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's my, it's just, just my car, summer car. Yes. I it's your car, your grandfather's car, your sister's yes. car. Yeah, I know. You have too many cars, but how much for this one? <laughs> uh, to, I don't know. Two thousand. Only because it's really ugly color. I like the ugly color ladders, the original. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even got the roof rack. Super cool. Ah, uh, this one's in better nick than the one you sold me, huh? This one's super. No, this, uh, this car wants to paint. Oh. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Anyway, good to see you again. Yes. Ah. Nice to meet you. See you later, guys. What a surprise to me, this guy here. He sold me my ladder. What a surprise to see this guy here. I didn't think he was too comfortable with that, but never mind. But once again, guys, what a phenomenal treat to come here and uh, spend the day here uh, amongst all these artists. And it's been super relaxing, especially after Riga's birthday yesterday. I gotta admit, I woke up a little bit hungover and rather short video today. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of history. And remember guys, enjoy your journey. <laughs>